smoke and CO alarm listener with voice alerts and base station. So with the base station, that means that we have two things that we can operate from the application. First, we're gonna talk about up at the top here, this right-hand side, this is how you would add a new device. Right here, this lightning bolt with a shield. If we select this, this is gonna open you up to the 24 seven monitoring. There is going to be a fee with this, but if you're looking for that, that's where that is. We also have location. I can switch between locations, such as here are all the things in my living room or basement, or I can have a device list as you see here. At the top, you see my base station, under which you see all of the connected devices that I have to this single base station. If I select the base station, that's going to bring me into the settings, but we can also access the settings via this little sprocket icon right here. Notice that there is the universal share icon. If I select this, this will allow me to share my base station via sending somebody an email and a alias for that specific user and then default share and what do I want? So I want to give them access to the base station, which would then give them access to all the devices underneath. Coming into my settings for our base station, we have the name. I can change the name of this if I wanted to. Location, I can select a different location for the base station. I have enable voice prompt. So that's if you want your base station to give you an audible vocal cue that something is wrong and is happening. Silence alarm, if I select this, it's gonna show you, hey, if you're near your base station and one of the alarms in your house is going off and you wanna silence it without having to pick up your phone, you can do so if you have this toggle on, there's a little button on that base station. Hit save and you'll be able to silence from the base station itself. Wi-Fi network, that's how you situate the base station onto your network. Device information, lots of personal information in there, not gonna show you that. Sharing device, again, another location that would allow you to share this device with somebody. And then help and feedback if you need help with the base station or want to give feedback to Xsense on your experiences. Last is remove this device. I'm going to select back to bring us back to the main homepage for Xsense, and we're gonna come down to our alarm listener. Notice its status says online. It shows us its connection to the base station, power, how much battery is left, and then our sprocket icon to bring us into the settings. Just like with the base station, I can either tap on the device image itself or the sprocket icon and be brought into actual settings for the device. From here, we get a larger image of its connectivity and battery status. Just like our base station, we can change the name, change the location. This will allow us to do a signal test, which is what we ran through when we set up this device. Here we can select base station alarm sound. We can change the volume of it as well as the tone. If you have several different types of Xsense devices that connect to your base station, it's a good idea to set up a different tone for each of those device groups. Here we have notifications. Selecting this will allow me to select what I want to be notified of. So in my case, if an alarm is triggered, I want a notification. When it ends or a silence, or a listener test, I don't necessarily want these, so I have these toggled off. I do want to be notified if there's low battery. And offline notification, if your device goes offline for whatever reason, it'll send a notification. You want to know that. I haven't experienced that myself, but with any smart device, especially one that's going to be as important as this, you want to be notified as quickly as you can if that device goes offline. Here we have device information, lots of sensitive information in there, not going to show you, but this is where you can check the firmware of your device if it needs to be updated. Next, we have help and feedback, just like before. Do you need help? Do you want to send feedback? And then remove this device. Coming back one more time to the main Xsense homepage here. This was the home area of the Xsense app. We have our history, which will show you a history of all of your devices, what has happened. So in this case, base station silenced, alarm off, alarm trigger, and uh, you can sort through this. Notice it's for today. I can come in here and pick any day I want, notice the dot. The dot indicates that there was activity that happened at that time. Last but not least, we have our accounts area right here. Selecting that at the top is going to be your linked email address. Here we have our manage my home. So from here, I can have multiple homes that I can manage. I have alarm sound, so alarm, and then all the things that are attached to it. Protection plan, if I wanted to. I can sign up for a free trial right there, add a friend's camera, help and feedback, and then about Xsense. And that has been everything that we can do for the Xsense Smart Smoke and Seal Alarm listener with Base Station. Setup was not terrible. 